bees and butterflies and other pollinators are so crucial to the survival of our planet and certainly to our well-being as human beings. But these amazing insects are going extinct at a really alarming rate. I think the more that we know about these insects and what they do for us as humans, the more likely we are to preserve them. So let's start young. Let's teach kids about pollinators and how they work and how we can help them. I'm Brandy and I'm the mom behind Aunt Bindi's bookshelf. I am a mom of two with years of experience in the classroom and as a homeschool mom, and I am here to help you as you help your kids learn and grow. Today, we are going to do that by doing a simple pollination experiment that shows how bees and butterflies and other pollinators move pollen from one flower to the other. This one, like I said, is super simple. It would be perfect for anyone preschool and up. After we do the experiment, I am going to stick around and talk about the science behind it. You can either do the experiment and then watch the science, or you can just do the pollination experiment and learn that way. Whatever you and your kids need, I am here to help. For this activity, you'll need cardstock. Black or white is probably going to work best. Colored chalk. I took sidewalk chalk and crushed it up. I put it in a Ziploc baggie, crushed it up with a uh, rolling pin. You can also use powdered sugar, although it's going to be the same color, so we won't get quite the, the same idea of how pollen moves between the flowers. But that's a really good option if you think kids might eat the pollen. Cheeto dust or mac and cheese powder also work. Pipe cleaners. We're going to use pipe cleaners to move our pollen from one flower to the others. Velma Gratch and the Way Cool Butterfly. Technically, this is optional because you could do this activity without a picture book, but adding in a book really rounds things out and who doesn't love a picture book? This picture book is all about butterflies. We'll use the same book later in the month when we do a butterfly art project and if you're really digging the bugs and butterfly theme, I have both math and reading activity packs for kids in that preschool to second grade age group. I'll link them in the description if you want to make this a whole unit. Okay, it's time to pollinate. The first thing we're going to do is make our flowers in pollen. If you're using white cardstock, you can print your flowers straight on the cardstock. If you're using black cardstock, just print and cut the outline on regular paper. Then trace the outline with a sparkle pen or a white pen, whatever you want. You could just draw some basic flowers on the paper by hand. I have zero drawing skills, so I had to cheat on mine. Now, take your chalk and crush it up. I just dropped a piece of sidewalk chalk in a Ziploc bag, one color in really each bag. Really the bugs and, and butterfly theme. I have both math and want to make this a whole unit. Once you get your chalk all crushed up, take a little bit of it and put it in the center of your flower. Step two, audio go, take one. All right, once our butterfly is down, we are gonna grab our chalk pastels. We're gonna turn them on their side and we're just gonna color it up. Push outward from your butterfly and switch colors as necessary. This is so good for... All right, once we have our little pollinator on our finger, we're gonna spread the love. Go ahead and fly your pollinator over, drop it into the center, and do a little boogie like a bee would. Look at all that pollen. Look at that. Now we're going to fly over to the second flower and same, do a little boogie. See how some of that green got into the yellow flower center? And we have green and yellow on the bottom of our pollinator's feet. We're going to fly to a third flower. And when we do that, we're going to get both green and yellow pollen into the center of this blue flower. And that is how pollination works. Hey, if you enjoyed this experiment, can you throw me a like and consider subscribing? We do a picture book based science project and an art project every single month and we do a bunch of other fun teaching stuff in between. 
All right, what's happening here? What's the science behind this? Pollination can happen in a bunch of different ways. Water, wind, different animals, insects, those are all ways that pollination can occur. In our case, we're talking about insect pollination. Here's how it works. Our pollinators, our butterflies or our bees, go to the flowers to get the nectar out of them. When they land, some of the pollen gets from the anther in the flower onto the legs of our insect. That is puzzle piece number one. Remember when the chalk got up onto our pipe cleaners? Then our bee or our other pollinator moves on to the next flower. When it moves, it takes some of the pollen with it on its legs. That pollen then rubs off on the stigma of the second flower. It has just completed the second piece of that two piece puzzle. Remember when we moved the chalk from one flower to the next? That's what we did. We completed that two piece puzzle. And when that puzzle gets completed, that is when things like fruit and flowers, that's when we get the good stuff. Up, take one, audio go. This is the perfect project for when you need to pull something together really fast, maybe your original project got scrapped, but you still want it to look good. It is so easy. If this helped you out, throw me a like and consider subscribing.